Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. As per popular demand, we are back in the Sky Kitchen and this time I am going to be cooking for you, all you busy millennials watching this video. I know that I made a promise to myself and to Slater that I would learn how to cook. And I have been actually trying my best to learn how to cook. It's just so hard to do, especially when you're so busy, you're always running around, you know. Cooking takes so much time, especially making sauces and making preps. So I discovered this new thing and I actually won a cooking challenge. I won a cooking challenge, by the way. Um, and it was to make a good carbonara using the Del Monte carbonara sauce. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today, except at that moment in my life, <laughs> at the time that I was cooking that, they actually provided me with a recipe and it had bacon in it and I don't eat bacon because I am a pescatarian. So today, we are doing my carbonara recipe that's super simple using the Del Monte Carbonara style sauce. It's super simple, you just saute, pour, and mix. And uh, we are gonna be making a vegetarian version. So if you guys are interested, then please do come along and cook with me. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is cooking the spaghetti. And this is also by Del Monte, Del Monte Spaghetti Pasta, and it's gonna be al dente in 10 minutes. So right now, I'm boiling some water in my stainless steel pot over here, and I'm going to be opening this packet. And once this is boiling, I'm gonna be pouring in pasta here for 10 minutes. I'm also gonna be salting. I'm gonna get my pot holder and salt this. Now, you know, I prepared before I did this video, I actually, watched a lot of other YouTube videos of people cooking carbonara, so I am very hopeful for this recipe, guys. When we did the carbonara contest that I actually won, I was super clueless, so I don't know how the other guys were feeling, right? Because I won it and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But this time, I actually did my research and I'm very, very hopeful of how this will turn out. So let's see. I'm just gonna cover this and wait for it to reach a boil. And then I will add my noodles. While I'm waiting for that to boil, I just want to show you what else is going around here in the sky pod. Hiya, hiya, life. Sleeping while waiting for lunch. That is the life of a true senorito. Do you enjoy your massage? You're not even massaging, you're just chilling. Oh, hiya, hiya, life. Good on you, God. Living the life. Living the life. My own pagkapili ang asawa. Mmm, mayo, mayo, good. Cooking the carbonara. Kusi, kusi sa aping. <laughs> Alright, guys, the water is now starting to boil, so I'm going to be adding my pasta noodles. And this is 200 grams of pasta, so it's worth, like, it's good for six people. So we are going to be making a lot of pasta today. All right, guys, so while the pasta is cooking, I'm gonna go into this mega red <laughs> Becca. Um, what do you call this? It's one of those things that really keep the heat inside. And based on my research, it's pretty hard to cook mushrooms. Like, it takes so long and you need a lot of heat. So I'm putting this on a five. This is an induction cooktop. And I'm now gonna add some cooking oil. This kind of pot is really gonna help brown the mushrooms. I hope that, at least that's what I want. So now we're gonna be adding the mushrooms. And there's a little green in there because I mixed it with a parsley while prepping, but it's okay. We'll add a little bit of parsley later. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of salt and pepper to these mushrooms, just to add a little bit of flavor to them. read about mushrooms is that you really want all the moisture to evaporate from the mushrooms and that normally takes a while I guess depending on the mushrooms that you're using so um, I'm just gonna keep it here for a little while longer and we will check back once it's a little bit on the brown side okay my mushrooms look really good now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic I really want this carbonara to be very garlicky so I added five cloves of chopped garlic here. And the reason why I'm adding it a little bit later is because 
it cooks a lot faster than the mushrooms, so I didn't want it to burn. So right now I'm just gonna add it and mix everything together. And when this is all done, we are gonna be adding the pasta. All right, here comes the best and easiest part, adding the sauce. And this really makes life super easy because all you do is saute, pour, and mix, and that's it. So now we are gonna be pouring into my mushroom mix. Now this is made with real cream and real milk. So if you want a creamy American style carbonara, this is definitely the sauce that you wanna use. And if you don't want it too thick, then save your pasta water because that's what we're gonna use to thin it out a bit. Look at this creamy goodness. All right guys, now I'm gonna be adding a little bit of the pasta into this mixture, slowly but surely. I know I'm not an expert in the kitchen, but this is a very easy recipe that you, even you guys can do at home if you're super busy or if you're like me with very little experience in the kitchen, you can definitely try this recipe. I'm sure you can do it yourself too. It smells so good. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of pasta water, which is like liquid gold, I hear. So just to make this a little bit more, less creamy. That's not your jam. That's more. I'm gonna use my special pasta tom to mix this all together. It looks so good, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself. Next up, we're gonna be adding some freshly chopped parsley, just to add a little bit of color to our carbonara pasta. And look at this beautiful color all come together. I'm so proud of myself. This is like restaurant grade carbonara, guys. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Let's put it to the taste test. It is damn good. It is damn good. Okay, let's add a little bit of cheese because a carbonara is not a carbonara without some cheese. Now, because I am this healthy, instead of using Parmesan cheese, I'm using nutritional yeast, which is a great substitute if you guys want to go healthy. So I'm just gonna put a little of that, well, maybe a lot of that, onto this mix to make it a little bit more cheesy. But honestly, the taste of this already is so good. It's not like your typical carbonara where it's super duper creamy and like all you taste is the cream. It actually tastes like legit carbonara, like Italian carbonara. So I guess it really depends on what you mix with your pasta and what kind of style you'd like to go for. You can create so many different kinds of recipes using carbonara sauce from Del Monte. I even saw one that they made like a gochujang version or a spicy like sisig carbonara, which is so unique. But um, yeah, it's definitely worth a try. It's super easy to make, as you can see. And I'm so excited to have Slater try it. All right, now time for plating. We are gonna transfer it into our serving plate. Super happy with how it turned out. Looks so good. And to add the final touch, I'm gonna be adding some nori leaves. We're out of here. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm so happy with how this recipe turned out. You're gonna put it to the taste test in a few minutes. And this is, again, a super simple recipe for those of you who are so busy, all you millennials out there, all you young professionals who don't have the time to prepare dinners at home but still wanna come home to something really hearty and really good, then do try out this Del Monte Carbonara creation of mine. It is very simple. All you have to do is saute, pour, and mix, and here you go. It is definitely something that I would highly recommend. Okay, Slater is now here to put it to the taste. Wait, I'm going first. I have to eat Okay, go. Go, taste it. Taste my Del Monte Carbonara creation. Should I mix it? It's up to you. Go ahead. Like seaweed? Yeah, it's like a Japanese vegetarian carbonara. You too? <laughs> mm. 
Now, you guys all saw how simple this was to create, and now I challenge you to create your own carbonara recipes using the Del Monte Carbonara spaghetti sauce. I challenge my sister Jack because she is very creative in the kitchen. I also challenge my best friend Jillian to create a recipe of your own. So go ahead, guys. Please accept the challenge, and we will see you on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one.